Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to graph in vertex form. So, graphing in vertex form implies that there is a vertex to your figure. Usually, what is meant by this is that we're dealing with a function of the quadratic form. So, there's at least one term in your function that has an x squared term in it. So, the general form of a quadratic function, I'll write as a, where a is some parameter, times x minus b squared, where b is also a parameter, plus c. a represents by how much you stretch your graph in the vertical direction. b corresponds to how far along the x direction you shift your vertex, and c corresponds to how far up the y-axis you shift your vertex. So if I want to plot x squared, my origin and also the vertex will be here, and it will look something like this, where the axis of symmetry is along x equals 0. For this example, a more general example, I can consider a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 2. So if a is equal to 1, which is the case here, then there's going to be no stretching involved. If b is equal to 3, then my vertex, which was originally at the origin, is going to be moved over to the right three places. And my C means that I'm going to shift my vertex up in the vertical direction by two points. So I'm essentially going to have x squared just in this location. And again, I'm going to have an axis of symmetry, where in this case, the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 3. So this is sometimes called the standard form, and the position of the vertex and the axis of symmetry is defined via the values of these coefficients, of these parameters. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Graph in Vertex Form.